Bill de Blasio spoke publicly about the shooting of two police officers in Brooklyn over the weekend and met with their grieving families. This morning, de Blasio, New York's governor, and the city police commissioner visited the families in their homes. Wen Jin Liu and Rafael Ramos, who were partners, were shot at point blank. The suspect then shot himself in a nearby subway stop after being pursued by police, and he had reportedly written some disturbing messages on social media. All those killings, as well as threats made against police, all around the country have Portland officers on alert. A suspicious package investigation, in fact, outside police headquarters this morning had some fearing the worst. Our Chris Woodard takes us beyond the headlines now, Chris. Yeah, and roads here around the Justice Center were closed for a short time this morning. That investigation, just a reminder of how high tensions are here, because in this area where police have faced a lot of criticism lately, those officer killings in New York bringing concern. We treat all those things as potentially dangerous. Police investigating a suspicious device in downtown Portland is nothing new. But with streets blocked off around the Justice Center for nearly an hour today, things had a different feel. In the environment, of course, the, the hairs on the backs of people's necks maybe stood up a little more um, because of what's happened in New York. <gasps> Just two days after two officers were ambushed and killed in New York, tensions are high in Portland. The device outside the police bureau here turned out to be nothing dangerous. But like many cities across the country, the police bureau building has been a gathering point for protesters who have made their displeasure with police very clear. So much rhetoric has been out there and so much hatred has been uh, you know, yelled at the police that the, th the feeling is, is, you know, what, a, what about here? Is there someone here that might absorb that and decide they want to go make a statement too? Officers are concerned. And while there have been no special directives about wearing bulletproof vests or responding to calls in groups like there have been in other cities, Portland officers are on alert. There's a lot of tension, really, uh, among a lot of people, a little uneasy feeling about, um, being safe. Portland police now wearing black mourning ribbons on their badges in response to the killings in New York. This morning's suspicious device, while well, it did turn out to be nothing, a reminder to many how high tensions are. It is important to point out that those protests we have seen in the Portland area over the last few weeks, almost entirely peaceful, and police say they're not aware of any specific threats against officers over the last few days. Nevertheless, there is concern. Live downtown, I'm Chris Woodard for Coin 6 News.